What is research? Research is defined as a systematic investigation. Example, the gathering and analysis of information designed to develop or contribute to generalizable knowledge. Research is different than other forms of discovering knowledge like reading a book because it uses a systematic process called the scientific method. The word research perhaps originates from the old French word researcher that meant to search again. It implicitly assumes that the earlier research was not exhaustive and complete and hence a repeated search is called for. Characteristics of research Keeping this in mind that research in any field of inquiry is undertaken to provide information to support decision making in its respective area. We summarize some desirable characteristics of research. Number one, the research should focus on priority problems. Meaning to say, you have to identify the core problem or the root cause. Number two, the research should be systematic. It emphasizes that the researcher should employ a structured procedure. Number three, the research should be logical without manipulating ideas logically. The scientific researcher cannot make much progress in any investigation. Number four, the research should be reductive. This means that the findings of one researcher should be made available to other researchers to prevent them from repeating the same research. That's why in every research, there is what we call RRL or Review of Related Literature. Number five, the research should be replicable. This asserts that there should be scope to confirm the findings of previous research in a new environment and different settings with a new group of subjects or at a different point in time. Number six, the research should be generative. This is one of the valuable characteristics of research because answering one question leads to generating many other new questions. For me, this is the most important characteristics of research. The research should be action-oriented. In other words, it should be aimed at reaching a solution leading to the implementation of its findings. The research should be action-oriented or output-based. Number 8. The research should follow an integrated multidisciplinary approach. Example, research approaches from more than one discipline are needed. The research should be participatory, involving all parties concerned, from policymakers down to community members at all stages of the study. Number 10. The research must be relatively simple, timely, and time-bound, employing a comparatively simple design. Number 11. The research must be as much cost-effective as possible. And number 12. The results of the research should be presented in formats most useful for administrators, decision-makers, business managers, or the community members. What are the qualities of a good researcher? We have here the general qualities. Scientific attitude, unquenchable thirst for knowledge, devotion, scientific solution, keen observation and independent thinking, and seeker of knowledge. The researcher should also research mindedness, unbiased attitude, and a systematic worker. Let's proceed to the physical characteristics. One is longevity, nothing left unfinished, strong body, and good digestion. 
this is very true because how can you conduct a research if you have a poor health condition? How about the mental characteristics of a researcher? The researcher should have a power of observation, steadfastness in purpose, and sympathy. Let's proceed to the ethical standards. A good researcher should contribute to the welfare of mankind and has a professional confidence and an awareness of social responsibilities. Researchers are prone to stress because of the work. Therefore, they should have these qualities in order to succeed. In emotional factors, urge to do, pleasure in creation, and work of real value. Under the personality traits of the qualities of a good researcher, enthusiasm and research zeal, intelligence, adaptability and resourcefulness, creativity and originality, determination and drive. Why conduct research? According to some research, there are three reasons why they are conducting research. But before that, let us discuss first these uh, concepts. Exploratory research is the first research to be conducted around a problem that has not yet been clearly defined. Exploration research, therefore, aims to gain a better understanding of the exact nature of the problem and not to provide a conclusive answer to the problem itself. This enables us to conduct more in-depth research later on. Descriptive research expands knowledge of a research problem or phenomenon by describing it according to its characteristics and population. Descriptive research focuses on the how and what, but not on the why. Explanatory research, also referred to as, as casual research, is conducted to determine how variables interact. Example, to identify cause and effect relationships. Explanatory research deals with the why of research questions and is therefore often based on experiments. Based on the three key concepts, we can generalize that the purpose of research are to explore, describe, and explain.